excited to be here with you guys today and we're gonna be making my favorite and Nick's favorite. I usually only make this on a special occasion or a gathering where I want to impress people. <laughs> well, it's Norma's air fried chicken. It's my recipe that I've combined with my own stuff and you guys have to try it. I am telling you, delicioso. Stay tuned for more. We need some chicken legs. Um, right here we have about eight or nine chicken legs. You guys are more than welcome to use as much chicken as you want because we're going to have lots of sauce and we usually use our sauce to eat it with other meals like for breakfast. You guys are going to see. Okay, and then I have some salt, some pepper, we're going to need some onion powder, some garlic salt, mustard, brown sugar, and paprika. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I wash my chicken. I learned this from a, a lady that also cooks on YouTube. Her name is Adela, I believe Adela's Kitchen. I had always had issues with the way that chicken smells and this I believe is going to help get the smell out of my chicken. So. Um, I've already pre-washed my chicken. I'm going to add more water and then I'm going to add half a cup of vinegar and a little bit of salt and that'll help get that little smell out of our chicken. My chicken. And now I'm going to add the white vinegar. You guys could use apple cider as well. And then I'm going to add some salt. And let it sit for about five minutes like this. Okay, so our chicken has been sitting there for five minutes. Now I'm going to rinse it out and we're going to come to do the next step, which is going to be seasoning our delicious chicken. Okay, now our chicken is nice and clean. And we are going to add our ingredients to get the best air fried chicken ever, ever. You guys can eat it just like this too but we choose to put it in a sauce or sometimes we do three tablespoons of brown sugar. Teaspoon of salt. In here? Mm -hmm. Add one teaspoon of brown pepper. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon, one teaspoon of paprika. We ran out, so I have to go get the little bag. I have to put it in a little container as well. Okay, so I'm gonna mix all these little dry ingredients and then I'm gonna add some mustard teaspoon of mustard and then I'm going to apply all of that to my chicken. Okay, I'm going to apply my seasoning to my chicken and then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add my mustard, a spoon of oil and my seasoning. Delicious. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon of mustard. Was I not being heard? I mean, it has its own microphone, but now it'll pick it up a little bit. <laughs> 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 mm. 
so so good. Delicioso, mi pollito. So yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm gonna cover this in plastic and I'm gonna let it sit for one hour in my fridge. Here comes my delicious helper. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Plastic. It's not my helper, he's my partner. <laughs> I wrap for you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It smells so good, eh? It does, it smells so good. I'm excited. Makes you not want to wait an hour, but if you wait, it's better, right? Because mm -hmm. then it gets all the flavors. Alexa, set a one hour timer. One hour, starting now. Hi guys, we're back for our chicken now. We're gonna put our air fryer liner. Don't forget this, because it's a lifesaver in cleaning. Put it in your air fryer. And then we're gonna pop open our chicken. It's been about an hour since we last put it in the fridge. Those are the tongs are gonna use gloves. Well, those tongs are great for this. Make sure you put your chicken in an even layer so they all cook evenly. We're going to cook our chicken at 380 degrees. You can't see it. for 20 minutes. 